once the predominant power in the world, a symbol of supremacy in the past. From its humble beginnings as an Anglo-Saxon nation to its domination of the seas, let's discover the United Kingdom, its history, its culture, and its people. Before we proceed, this portion will only cover the United Kingdom's history as a whole. If you want an in-depth history of the nations that comprise the kingdom, please let me know in the comments below. In the 6th century AD, Anglo-Saxon invaders from mainland Europe managed to find their way and establish their own territory in what is now England. They converted to Christianity and from 900 to 1400 AD were ruled by Vikings, Danes, and Norman invaders. The Celtic and Pict populations were able to maintain their sovereignty during this era. During the 13th century, the descendants of these Anglo-Saxons, who now called themselves the English, invaded and annexed the Kingdom of Gwynedd, or what is now Wales. And 200 years later, on August 22, 1485, a Welsh noble, Henry Tudor, claimed the English crown, naming himself Henry VII, the first monarch of the Tudor dynasty. Welsh territory was united with England in 1536 as a result. Scotland, land of the Picts, was also eventually united with England too. But this was at the cost of lives during the wars to keep Scottish independence. England also invaded the neighboring island of Ireland and fully controlled the island by the late 1600s. Alas, the island was now united as one, and from that unification was born the Great Kingdom of Great Britain after the Acts of Union on May 1, 1707. The kingdom was first ruled by Queen Anne until her death on August 1, 1714. In 1801, the kingdom was formally named the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. During this burgeoning period in the kingdom's life, it was able to colonize North America in what would become the future United States of America. This was driven by the need to exploit natural resources needed to fuel the economy of the kingdom and its constituent nations. More than that, it was also to establish control over territories as a solution to the spread of the Spanish and French empires. As a whole, the United Kingdom, together with its colonies, trading posts, dominions, and so on, were called the British Empire, the largest empire to ever exist in human history. Other dominions include India, some areas of Africa, and even Canada. The North American colonies, tired of British rule, rebelled and managed to gain their independence from the empire. This revolutionary war would last from 1775 to 1783. The United Kingdom shifted its focus from North America after the war and instead looked towards the east in what is now India. It established the East India Trading Company as a way to maintain control over the subcontinent. They started to slowly but surely colonize the territory, and by 1858, full colonization was completed. Competition between European powers and the race to gaining colonies were a few reasons why the First World War began. The United Kingdom and its allies were able to defeat their German opponents and its allies. But alas, an independence movement was brewing in Ireland while soldiers were fighting overseas. This culminated in the Irish War of Independence, which would last until 1921. The war brought about the ratification of the Irish Free State Act of 1922, which stated that the southern part of the island would become the Irish Free State, what is now present-day Ireland. The six counties that chose to stay with the UK were now collectively known as Northern Ireland, when the Second World War broke out, the United Kingdom was one of the first belligerent nations. After Poland was invaded, the kingdom became the first to assist the country. It would later be joined by the United States, the Soviet Union, and a number of allied countries to defeat Nazi Germany once and for all. 
The kingdom would also become one of the first to join the United Nations, established after the war. It also joined the EU in 1973. Due to the toll brought about by two consecutive wars, the United Kingdom saw it fit to withdraw from many of its colonies, which in turn allowed these colonies to gain independence. The great jewel of the British Empire, India, would also gain its independence in 1947. Northern Ireland continues to be a troublesome spot for the United Kingdom, as calls for independence still endure to this day. In what would be known as the Troubles, 4,000 people would die until the Good Friday Agreement was signed in 1988. Just recently, the United Kingdom voted to leave the European Union in what is now called Brexit. The GDP of the United Kingdom, according to the World Bank, is valued at $3.1 trillion. It is one of the richest states in the entirety of Europe. Its economy, beginning in the 19th century, has always been independent and developed. In fact, it was one of the first to industrialize and is considered the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution. It is a highly developed social market economy. The primary contributing sector of the United Kingdom is the service sector, which makes up 79 to 82 percent of the entirety of the GDP. Although having a large service sector, the UK still has active agricultural and industrial sectors. Agricultural products include milk, wheat, barley, sugar beets, potatoes, chicken, rapeseed, oats, pork, and beef. Heavy industries found throughout the different countries comprising the state are industries on machine tools, electric power equipment, automation equipment, railroad equipment, shipbuilding, aircraft, motor vehicles and parts, electronics and communications equipment, metals, chemicals, coal, petroleum, paper and paper products, food processing, textiles, clothing, and other consumer goods. The flag of the United Kingdom, also known as the Union Jack. It combines the three crosses of England and Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. The three heraldic crosses are that of St. George, patron saint of England and Wales, the cross saltire of St. Andrew, patron saint of Scotland, and the cross saltire of St. Patrick, patron saint of Ireland. The capital of the United Kingdom is London, with a total land area of 244,000 square kilometers, or 94,000 square miles, including Northern Ireland. Located within the kingdom is the biggest island in Europe, the island of Great Britain. The United Kingdom's topography is mostly hilly with low mountains. The highest point is Ben Nevis, which is 1,300 meters or 4,300 feet above sea level. The lowest point is the Fens, 4 meters or 13 feet below sea level. The UK's climate is maritime, moist and temperate with a moderate annual temperature range. The average temperature for the entirety of the UK is 18 to 25 degrees Celsius, or 64 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. There are approximately 68 million people that live in the United Kingdom's constituent nations. The United Kingdom is a multi-ethnic state with cultures from the English, Scottish, and Irish prevailing. However, due to former colonization of various areas of the world, the British were able to bring with them traditions from multiple parts of the world. Additionally, immigration has contributed greatly to the multiculturalism of the United Kingdom, despite there being a predominantly white society. While having a multitude of languages, including Welsh and Gaelic, English is the official language of the state. Majority of British people adhere to the Christian faith, while a large minority of 25% do not consider themselves a part of any religious denomination at all. The United Kingdom's food culture is as diverse as its people. Therefore, the number of dishes are astoundingly large and varies from one place to another. Here are some things you can try out. 
For breakfast, why not try a full English? Eggs, a cut of bacon, beans, toast, a sausage or two, some tomatoes, and whatever you want to add, it'll make you, that's right, full and ready for the morning grind. Yorkshire pudding, a pudding that isn't a pudding. It's made out of eggs, flour, milk, and fat. And no, it isn't a dessert either. For the exotic lovers, black pudding is made from congealed blood and oats. Sounds bad, but it's actually quite good if you stop thinking about the blood. And last but not least, an all-time favorite amongst British families, shepherd's pie, made from meat and mashed potatoes. Not a pie, just meat and potatoes. The United Kingdom has got to have the greatest number of famous people in the world, and here are only some of them. Let's start off with the recently deceased royal, Queen Elizabeth, who ruled for 70 years until her death. She is quite arguably one of the most well-known individuals in contemporary history. Another famous historical figure is Winston Churchill, who led the United Kingdom towards victory during the Second World War. Stephen Hawking, theoretical physicist, cosmologist, and author, was British and was well known for battling amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. And last but not least, the ever-famous Beatles, your mom and dad's favorite band of all time. John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr, idolized by the masses forever. If you enjoyed this video on the United Kingdom, you'll love this next one.